Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today this is my finale of the Bob series for 2018. Holy crap, I can't believe we're already in 2019, and yes, I have already purchased makeup in 2019 because I am bad. Like, bad, bad, bad. And there was really good deals, and there was a few things that I really wanted skincare wise, and yeah, I, whatever. Okay. We'll go over that at the end of the month in January, but right now I wanted to do my finale because I did my empties videos now so you know how much I spent or used up on all of my items. And now I want to give you the comparison of how much I spent versus how much I used up. Yes, I spent a lot more than I used up and yeah. The people that are collaborating with me on this past year is Rachel Winters. You guys can go check her out on YouTube. She will be linked down below as well as Stacey Landreth. She is on Instagram and she does an awesome job posting all of her updates for her beauty stuff and she will be posted down below as well. You should definitely go check them out. They are fantastic and not only are they great people to watch but they're like really good friends. So like I want to hang out with them in real life, you know? Anyways, so enough with that. Let's get on to, I just totally hit myself in the face. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's get on to this. I think it's like stressing me out trying to think about doing it. Look how full this like is. Like seriously, I can't do this again next year. I can't do it because I spent way too much money. Anyways, so I have this book. I could not find the exact book to link. So I did find something else on Amazon, but basically, I put in all of my numbers for each and every month, all of my purchases and all of my empties, full size and sample, because you guys know that I do sample empties and I do count those as money because I either spend my money on them or I spend my money purchasing something and get a free sample with it. So I do love samples and I do use them and I do count them as money. So anyways, for December, <laughs> I did pretty well in December. Okay, let's be real. So for my December empties, I used up a total of 27 items, which was really, really good. And I kind of added on a lot like the last three or four days because I could not wait to finish some of these things. And they just like finished and finished and finished so quickly at the end of the month, which was really, really exciting. And in 2018, oh crap, okay. So in December, I used up 27 items, and then I used up $293.82 versus of all of the items that I used, full size and sample size, empties, skincare, hair care, makeup, all that kind of stuff I added in. Um, the only thing is I don't add into my money wise is if I used up like a vitamin or like wine bottles and stuff like that. I don't do that because that's not makeup related. So anyways, Yes, I think that that is really, really good for the month of December. So now, now that I've told you December's numbers, I wanna tell you 2018 for the year. And you guys know in my previous videos, I was updating you on the year's worth of empties. So now I'm gonna tell you the final numbers of my year. So I got this idea of Bob series at a glance from Stacy, and she did a really good job kind of making out this. So I kind of made my own version of it. So thank you, Stacy, for that great idea. Every single month <laughs> in the year of 2018, I actually went over. So that means I purchased more than I used up, which is really bad, except for two months. So the month of April, I only purchased $50 worth and I used up almost $89 worth. So that was a green month. And then the month of August, I know I put my numbers from August to September, so I counted that as a green month. Um, even though I know I didn't purchase much in August, but I did have my beauty boxes and stuff like that. So I said that I purchased nothing in August, which is not true but I just added it into September's numbers and I used up $90 in August. So I only had two green months, but one of them doesn't really count. So technically I really only had one green month out of the year and that is unacceptable to me. So my goal for next year is to have six green months out of the year. So that means half of the year I need to be spending or spending less than I'm using or using more than I'm spending, if that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> Now for the numbers. <laughs> for the totals, I was adding it up every single month. I was adding in how much I was spending, how much I was using, and then the comparison of the two. So this is where it gets really sad. Um, we started the year off pretty good. 
like decently okay. But then as we got closer to like VIB sale time and Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, stuff like that, you guys know that I love to pick up items on sale and I pick up a lot of items for my giveaways on those sales and I do count them as purchases. So if I'm picking up items for any reason, whether it's giveaway, Christmas, birthday, even if it's not for me, I still count it in my purchases because I'm buying it. You know, I'm buying it with my own money. I'm not getting PR. I'm getting all of these things with my own hard earned money. So this is going to be really sad telling you guys my final numbers. <laughs> so in December, my totals for the entire year, so the entire year of 2018, I purchased, I don't even know, I can't even tell you guys, I'm not bragging in any way, shape or form, by the way, I just, I'm telling you this so I can become more accountable for myself. So on that note, I purchased, oh my gosh, $4,385.97. Yep, you heard that. Oh my god. I have to sneeze and it's like perfect timing because it's like rejecting this number. My body just rejected that number. I can't even handle that. Oh my gosh. Anyways, my total products used, I think this number is actually a little bit low because I did not add in all of the extra numbers from the year, but I'm going to just round it up at $1,300. So the total amount used for hair care, skin care, and makeup was $1,300. So that puts me in the red for the year of 2019, about $3,000. What? So I literally purchased $3,000 more money's worth of makeup and skincare and hair care than I actually used in the year, which is obnoxious like completely obnoxious and I am really disappointed in myself for those numbers. However, I did declutter a lot this year. I did give a lot to friends and I do sell makeup on Mercari. So things that I get in like my BoxyCharm or things that I bought but I just don't like or whatever, I do sell them on Mercari. So I don't count those as my empties because I am selling them. So there is a lot of that as well. And also palettes that I go through that I'm like, you know, I just don't like that palette anymore. But I know a girlfriend that will love that palette and will use it all the time. So I give it to her instead. Mom? So anyways, this is obviously not me bragging, not me telling you that I have all this money and I just think this is silly. So in my mind, that $3,000 could have paid off my car. So this is my plan for 2019. I am gonna be doing another Bob series or makeup rehab. I just don't like to call it makeup rehab because I feel like, I don't know, I just don't like the wording of that and I don't, I don't know, I just, I don't connect to makeup rehab like other people may, but the Bob series is more personal for me because it's like beauty's on a budget, it's, um, you know, I'm a regular working mom, I have a family, I have a husband, I have a house, I have animals, I have, you know, whatever, and I also call my cat Bob, even though his name is Mantis, you guys have seen him many times on my channel. Anyways, I connect to it more as a Bob series, so that's why I like to call it my Bob series. Um, but looking at these numbers, I'm embarrassed <laughs> to say the least. Like, this is absurd. So my plan for the year of 2019 is to have six months, so six months total in the green, which means in that individual month, I used up more than I spent. And on average, when looking at my numbers here, on average, I'm using up about hundred dollars a month. Some months I'm at two hundred dollars, other months I'm at thirty dollars. So that tells me that the average about is about a hundred dollars, which means I need to basically not spend anything for six different months out of the year. And what I'm guessing I'm going to be doing because I've already spent more than that in January and I don't think I'm going to use up that much. Eesh. So I think February is going to be a good month because 21 days of beauty doesn't come until March or April-ish. So I think the only months that I really want to spend any kind of money on makeup is going to be the VIB sale, the two of them for Sephora, which I can't even imagine what else I need right now because I don't need anything. And then also the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I do need a couple different things that I am hoping they're going to be on the sale, but if they're not, sorry, I'm just going to skip over them. So 
that is my plan for the monthly breakdown of the money and the finale next year i'm hoping that i am going to be less than two thousand dollars in purchases that is my plan to use up two thousand dollars or less which means i'm cutting my purchases more than in half so in half minus 150 dollars so that is my goal and I think I can use up more than $1,300 this year, especially knowing how many items I have that are on their last leg, gonna be finishing up. I have tons of project pans going this year. I really think I can get through a ton of different products. So that is my plan. My final idea for 2019 is going to be using up more than, let's say $1,500 worth of beauty, hair care, skincare, makeup, all of that kind of stuff combined. Yes, I do combine it. I don't just say makeup because I really don't use up a ton of makeup. But I spend more money on skincare, you know? Anyways, so I'm going to plan to use up $1,500 worth of makeup or, you know, all this stuff. And I plan to spend $2,000 or less money a year. So that means I really have to keep up on my totals for the year much better than I did this year because... Sometimes when the sales were going on, I was just spending blindly just because I wanted whatever was on sale. And I don't wanna be doing that this year. I know this is a super long winded video and I'm sorry for those of you that, you know, are on their no buys or low buys or whatever. I really wanted to attempt a low buy this year, but I don't think I'm mentally there. I feel like you have to be to fully mentally prepared and honestly, the more I play in my makeup collection, the more I use, the more I project pan, the more I just am in my beauty room, the more I'm enjoying the makeup I already have and the more I'm realizing how much I like some of the stuff that I have and why do I need more because I already enjoy what I have. So that is my plan for the year of 2019, spend less than $2,000 for the entire year and use up at least $1,500, which means I would only have a deficit if I did exactly that, $2,500, I would only have a deficit of $500. So that is a big difference from $3,000. So that is my plan for the year of 2019. At the end of the year in 2019, I will be comparing my two different Bob year at a glance pages and telling you guys if the year of 2019 was success for me, if it was a failure, and how so. So once again, I will be updating every single month, and I'm hoping that Rachel and Stacy are doing this again with me. I'm pretty sure they are, but I am so looking forward to being more successful in my spending and being more conscious and being a better consumer when I'm spending money versus when I'm using things up and not using them up just to use them, but using them because I'm enjoying them. So. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.